Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, hope you can hear me. Well, ladies and gentlemen and everybody else, it is 8.45 right now. And the bot at about uh, 9.30 uh, my time. And then I'm probably going to go to bed for the night because um, I need to get some sleep. But, uh, yeah. Welcome back to the experience. And uh, I've had an evil idea. What if, what if, now hear me out, what if we get rid of the Ring of Favor, or one of our other rings, and we implement the Obscuring Ring along with our hiding tactics? Eh? Eh? I don't think anybody will be able to find me if I do that. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Game is laggy. Laggy. Laggy, 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 laggy. Come on, wake up, game. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. God damn, that thing is laggy. You got some lag going on, ladies and gentlemen. Let me check the console real quick. It doesn't feel that warm. It's pretty cold in here. Um, so, keeps the console cool. I I think, I, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Uh, we're gonna proc the dried finger here and we're just gonna wander back into Anne Orlando now uh, I'm having a hard time uh, yeah yep or we'll get rid of the uh, we'll get rid of the hornet ring that's fine and we're getting an invasion right out the gate let's see if we can beat them to the punch as it were we got the obscuring ring on which means all is well and good we're gonna get our souls back we're gonna fucking get over here in this corner and we're gonna sit down. We're gonna wait. Actually, I don't like that. There we go. There we go. Now we're situated. Alright, we got somebody summoned. Let's see. It is Dizen Zeno. Di Zeno. Or D Zeno. Or Day Zeno. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name there, bud. But, uh, yeah, let's see what this guy is, uh, is up to. We're just going to continue our trickery for another 45 minutes. And we've got Little Mer Lil Merc, I think, is that, is, is that what that name comes out to be? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, we got this guy. He's coming through. He's moving through got his onion helmet and everything he's running to the pontiff's back porch he's gonna go check that preliminarily uh, I have no idea where little Merc is right now but they're gonna spread out they're gonna fan out and they're gonna fucking check the area as well as they can uh, let's see we can't get a good view of the uh, of the porticolis there ah here comes our friend he is moving back from the pontiff's uh, back porch and uh, he is moving through we got C9 underscore Hori um, so we have three uh, Aldrich faithfuls on the field let's see if any of them can find me this should be entertaining now he's going upstairs he's going upstairs there and the other one is I thought I saw some movement right over there We'll see. See what happens. I haven't seen the other two yet. Uh, we got some movement. We got some movement. There they come. There comes the second fucking Aldrich Faithful. He... They are... Uh, they are moving through. I got one of my messages rated. Please don't rate my messages right now. I do not want to get revealed. But uh, thank you. Oh, excuse me. I am having a bad gastrointestinal day today. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. This is such a clever hiding spot, too. I could do this with armor on as well. But it's a lot more fun to go around dragon form with a katana. Makes me feel like a badass. Because, you know... Let's be honest, the game is pretty easy for me even now. And I like a challenge. And the challenge is um, 
taking a lot of fucking damage. Um, and dying really quickly. Um, regardless of what I do. Um, that's pretty exciting. Hey! Hey, those fuckers took some health damage, and it looks like there's a mad phantom here? How's there a mad phantom? Oh my god! They're gonna kill him! They're gonna kill the fucker. Yep, looks like they got bored, so they're chasing down the mad phantom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those are some long-range throws. You know, you can increase the throws, uh, with a, um, with a, uh, hawk ring. You know that, right? They probably don't know that. Or maybe they were using the hawk ring and just flinging shit. Oh my god. Yeah, that was, uh, Dizeno Ho, I want to say. Dizen Ho. And Dizen Ho looks like, it looks like he's dead. Oh yeah, and here comes the souls. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Now, uh... Now that they've done that... I mean, let's see what happens. Here, the, here comes one of them. Here comes one of them. The other one is uh, not sticking around. The other one is coming back through the area. The other one is not showing up. Unless he's got an obscuring ring on. Uh, let's see what's going on with him. He's going back upstairs. Still not seeing the other one over there. He's going upstairs. He's going all the way upstairs. He's probably going to go and try and get a vantage point. So that way he can um, scope out the area. Which is pretty smart on his part. But at the same time... Uh, invaded by Dark Spirit O under slash Kara under slash Das under slash Bike. I got that right. Or, or, Bike? Bike? Um, that might be German. It sounds German. Um, I'm no, I have no idea what it is. Uh, how to pronounce that. Um,. The Red Spirits is fighting um, the Aldridge Faithful. We got Nogative underscore DX invading. So Dark Spirit has been destroyed. Lil Merc has died. Lil MRC has died. Um, the Red Phantom continues to march through the battlefield. Oh, oh, he's very undecided as to what he's going to do. He's, uh, he's trying to figure out what he's doing. Uh, let's see here. I gotta figure out how to get on top of that pillar right there. There's gotta be a secret to it. There's gotta be a secret to it that I'm not figuring out. Um. Not seeing any action right now. Hopefully those two start fighting each other. Instead of working together. We got another Aldrich Faithful Night Feed. I think we're at the maximum capacity here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I saw an Aldrich Faithful over there. Moving over there. He's standing over there. Just, just standing over there. Uh, I think we're at maximum capacity here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be exciting when they finally find me. If they finally find me. If not, if all of them disappear before, um, or go home before they can find me, then I will continue through Anne Orlando and will consider it a success. But if not, we're going to fight them. We're going to try our best. Uh, I have no idea what that dude's doing over there. Is he still over there? Is he still over there? I cannot see properly from where I am right now. I think he is, but I'm not sure. Um, it looks like it looks like one of them went in and an, went into An Orlando itself in order to go and try to scope out the area and see if I went up there. Um, yeah. That's interesting. That's very interesting. 
Alright. We keep an eye out on the battlefield here. He's... I saw something move over there. I'm not sure if that was just my imagination, but... I thought I saw something move over there. Um... Um... Nope. Nope, nothing's going on over there. He must be hiding, like... Maybe he's hiding inside of the giant and waiting for me to move. But I've got a lot more patience than these fuckers do. I used to play the long con for a long ass time on patches. I have a video of me waiting and waiting for almost an hour. Um, or actually almost half an hour of me recording just waiting for the fucker to or the player not the fucker I've got to be nice I gotta be good gotta provide a good example but anyway I I waited for the player the host to fucking do his thing for so le damn long and he just he just finally killed himself I have no idea who that is He's running towards Pontiff's uh, back porch. There he goes. There he goes. The other Aldridge Faithful is following him as well. He's standing there. Uh, he was going to change his equipment for a second, but he decided not to. He um, He's running back. They're running back towards the Pontiff's back porch. I'm hoping that the Red Spirit gets killed. Uh, at some point. Alright, they're both running through the area. Obviously, they're working together to try to scope me out. But it's just not going to work. Um, I don't think. I don't think they've got what it takes. Alright. He is taking a lay down. He is scoping out every fucking possible area that he can think of. Waiting fucking looking around everywhere he's thinking about it he's thinking about it he's thinking about it he still hasn't fucking figured it out yet and there he goes he's running for his fucking life over there other guy is oh let me get a good look he's still laying down he's uh he's moving over there towards that area um we got two Aldrich Faithfuls. Uh, they're blocking at each other. Block dancing at each other. Um, they both got on untrue dark rings. All right, and now we've got some uh, we got some action going on. But they are still working together, trying to figure out where the fuck I am. Um, this has got to be a maddening process for them because they are just not being successful right now and they're probably really frustrated about it. Um, or either that or they're very determined about it, which uh, more props to them if they are. I mean, none of them have left yet, so... I mean... Yeah. Um, we're just gonna wait and see what happens here, ladies and gentlemen. But, um, I'm not seeing them move upstairs. They haven't gone back to Anne Orlando yet. They haven't gone back to Anne Orlando yet. Um, one of them is waiting in Anne Orlando, I believe. Just waiting there. Because I haven't seen the Porticolis move down from its position, which means one of them is waiting patiently in Anne Orlando, which props to him. This this is um, this probably takes a lot of fucking um, stuff. That guy is trying to get a good vantage point on the battlefield, trying to scope me out. It's not going to work because I have the obscuring ring on. Obscuring ring is pretty fucking OP. If I do say so myself. Um, he's just standing there. Alright, there he goes. There he goes. Oh no, wait. He's still standing there. 
He is still standing up there. Looking. Looking around. He is, uh, he's trying to observe the battlefield as best he can. And, um, trying to scope me out here. Um, I wish I had Binox. I wish I had form of Binox that I could use so that way I could figure out whether or not he's using Binox. I don't think he is. If he was using Binox, he might be able to spot me, but no. I don't think so. What is he doing? I can barely see him from here. Um, he is just kind of standing around waiting there. Uh, let's see. Porticlus is... Oh, God. Yeah. All right. That guy's moving down from Man Orlando. Uh, he's disappeared. Our friend. Oh, no, wait. He's still there. He is just waiting there with a great bow, it looks like. Waiting for me to move. He's standing there with a great bow, waiting for me to move. Um, he's just kind of waiting. And now he's moving on. He might be coming back downstairs again. Who knows? Who knows? I keep an eye out for him. Um, if you can hear me, my friend, give up now while you still have your dignity. I thought I heard some movement close by. I'd really love to turn up my, uh, my sound effects, but when I close out of the menu, um, it's gonna... <sighs> Wait a minute, I can do this. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna turn up sound effects. So I can hear movement. A lot better. Right, there we go. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, fuck. Sit down. Sit down again. Okay. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine, guys. That guy is not laying down anymore. He's over there. Oh. Can't tell if that's the deacons walking around up there. Or if that's our friend. Alright, that guy's healing up. He's heading upstairs. Thankfully we've got the obscuring ring on so nobody saw me get up. And um... And, uh, let's see here. What is he doing? He is moving on. All right. Oh my goodness, we got a third guy moving through. He's going upstairs as well. He might be the one from Anne Orlando. Who knows? Um, we're just listening very carefully here and um, just trying to get a good idea of if there's anybody close at hand which there isn't I can hear everything perfectly Yeah, there's, there's just deacons moving around, and these guys fucking about, trying to, try, struggling to find me here. We've been playing the long con for about almost 20 minutes now, because I started at 8:45, um, roughly 8:45. I started recording at 8:45. I got in here pretty early, and. Uh, Oh, we're starting to run out of cigarettes. Starting to run out of cigarettes here, boys. Might have to go make a cigarette run here in a second. They've come back down here. Uh, <coughs> they're still not able to figure out what's going on here. Here comes this guy. He is moving really close to me. 
they just run right through. Um, going again to go check the one place they haven't checked. Um, they're moving through. Um, they're moving through. Stay nice and quiet here for a second. I think somebody is moving the porticolis again. Nope. They're just moving through the area. Can't hear them now. We're still not seeing any movement anywhere. Um, that's good. We're hearing the uh, the effect of um, tears of denial, but nothing else so far. <sighs> the question is, should we give them a chance to stand and fight, or should we continue to trick them? I am the trickster god here. Uh, there is no denying that. I, I'll tell you what. We'll wait until we get to 9.20, which will be in about, oh, 13 minutes. If they can't find me in the next 13 minutes, then we will just go and um, find a even trickier hiding place than before and you think that this is fucking godlike trickery right here you think that this is godlike trickery you have seen no no fucking signs of fucking trickery yet no end to the trickery i'm going to move through the area like like i fucking like a sneaky motherfucker. Oh my god, he's going back to the fucking Pontus back porch again. He is just going crazy looking for me. But you guys have not seen the beginning or the end of my trickery yet. We're going to find an even better place to hide once all these fuckers are on. And trust me, you're going to be very impressed. Especially you, Radicus. I know you're watching these vids. I hyped the fuck out of these vids, and I think you're going to appreciate just how tricky I am. And we got some damage on that guy, and all three of them are moving in towards um, towards the battlefield again. Oh, oh, <laughs> cheeky, 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 breaky. Gosh, they're moving. All right. Come on, kill each other. Kill each other for my amusement. They must be able to hear me because they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. They're just, they're just being cheeky. That's what they're doing. He's waiting right there. He's calling towards his brothers. Um, just waiting over there. He's calling towards his brothers. Just trying to get their attention any way he can. But he's going to have to go upstairs if he wants to catch their attention. Um, he's going back into the pontiff's area. I mean, back into the area where the deacons are. And, um... Oh, wait a minute. Is that somebody laying down over there? No, that's just darkness. That's just a shadow. Shadow within me. Turn on it. Turn on it. Uh. We got. Ooh, pretty vantage point right there. One of my messages was raided. Well, fuck me, dude. Fuck me. I appreciate it, but please don't give away my position here. Holy shit, dude. I got a message on my messenger. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Oh. Got messages from Sean.
Fuck yeah, dude. Just you wait, Sean. This is going to be quality. This is already quality, but this is going to be extra quality. We're at 9.10. We got 10 minutes left. Um, we're just kind of waiting. We're just kind of waiting here for them to finally figure out the fucking rules of the game of foosball. Looks like they went back to Anne Orlando again. They went back to Anne Orlando again, even though the Portacolis has not moved. Somehow they think I'm in Anne Orlando, which is fucking hilarious. This is... <laughs> this is unprecedented, dude. This might be my greatest PvP video yet. This will be even better than Invader Gets Fucked Up, too. Or, or the first one, even. This is fucking miraculous. This is the best fucking PvP experience I've ever had. These fuckers cannot... I mean, these, not these fuckers. These players cannot figure out where the fuck I am. These dudes are fucking at their wit's end. They've got to be. I, I'm just waiting until they go home. Honestly. There they go. Moving the porticles again. Going back down from Man Orlando because they did not find me anywhere around there. They must have searched the entire fucking cathedral for me. Fuck's sakes, dude. I almost feel bad for them. <laughs> almost. All right. Edging our way towards 920. And uh, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about this. I think I can keep them fucking at, at bay uh, until 920. Tell you what, we'll go to 925. We'll give them another 13 minutes because I'm feeling nice. Feeling kind today. And then we will reveal ourselves as the master trickster. Um, or maybe we won't. Maybe we will not. How are they not fucking going home at this point? This is fucking insanity. They are dedicated lads. This dude has changed his weapon multiple fucking times. He is just going nuts now. He just cannot figure it out for the life of him. What the fuck? What is, what is going on? What is that sound? I hear the sound of something going on. He's going back to the Pontiff's back porch. That guy is. Uh, we're not seeing any movement here. We're going to see if he's at the Pontiff's back porch again. Uh, he's not moving from there. Ooh, we got some weird texture flashing. Um, hope that's, uh, hope that's, n that's just the game being weird and that it doesn't fuck up this footage. Cause if it fucks up this footage, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be pretty shitty. I'm not going to lie. We're just, it's big chilling, dude. There we go. Look at all of the text textures here of this. Oh yeah, look at those, look at those fucking blurry ass textures at close range. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. We have not seen that guy move from the pun fucking Pontus. Um, oh, there he comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's coming back through, he's coming back through. Coming back through. It's kind of losing his mind. <laughs> I 
He didn't see me there. Um, the other guy is back. Third guy is back, I think. They're, they're meeting at the middle. And they're kind of freaking out there. Uh, he's going over there. He's going back to the Pontiff's back porch. And just looking around as desperately as he can. We're not going to move yet. We're not going to move yet. Not until the fat lady sings her song of death. Wow. This obscuring ring is pretty fucking OP. They're going back upstairs. They're going back through the same area that they've combed over several fucking times. This is fucking crazy, dude. This is fucking crazy. We're at 9.16 uh, in, the, in my time. We've been, keep in mind we've been playing for 30 minutes now. 30 minutes these guys have been fucking playing. Props to you guys. You are truly, truly fucking dedicated to this um, effort. You guys are truly dedicated to this effort. That is, this is incredible. I am, I am very impressed and amazed that they are enduring so much shit. Just to fucking try to find me. Somewhere. Anywhere. Where could I be? Who knows? I know. You know. The viewers. But these guys don't. And they're still fucking searching everywhere they can think of. There he goes. There goes one of them. Alright, we're gonna keep an eye out. And keep an eye out. Alright, there's movement over there. Alright, he's over there. And he's walking, and he's walking, and he's walking. My god, dude. This is madness. This is fucking madness. There it goes back to the Ponzo's back porch again. We're still seeing some movement over there. Is that just a camera effect? When I bring the camera around, does it just like... Yeah, it moves his, uh, it moves his chain every time I uh, swing my camera over there. That's interesting. I wonder if they can notice that. If they can notice that, then maybe they'll figure it out. When I swing my camera around over here, in a full circle, it like moves his chain. There is... He's moving in slowly. He's still fucking moving around, walking around. He's still not figured it out yet. Is, is somebody back in Anne Orlando again? Nope, not back in Anne Orlando. There he goes, back upstairs again. He's, uh... He's pulling out his bow. I think. Yep. Pulling out his bow. He's looking over there. He's thinking about it. He's really thinking about it. He's not seeing anything over there. He's not seeing anything over there. He's pulling out his bow. And he is, uh... He is drawing his bow... And he is over there. Here comes the three of them. All three of them are moving as a coordinated team. They just... They're just... Oh my god. Well, one of them took a big hit. Um, eventually they're going to start fighting each other. He's not... They're, they're moving over there in that direction. Trying to figure out where I am. That guy just did a very handy jump right there. Very impressive. They're combing the area over there. They're looking around. They're looking around. They're looking around. Um, they're still looking around. Oh my god. Well, that arrow... Uh, that arrow was very good. I wonder what he's doing. What is he doing? 
He's just shooting. He's shooting arrows. There they go. Back into there. Um, not through there. Back into there. Here goes that guy. He's just moving through. Steady like a conveyor belt. He's attacking that. Please don't write my message right now. He's fucking striking. He's striking the ground as we speak. He's just standing there menacingly. He was standing there menacingly. Now he's just moving around. They're moving through. That's interesting. Um, let's see what time it is. 9.21. They've got nine minutes left to find me before I, um, before I skedaddle out of here and make it to Anne Orlando. Um, because we're going to move fast as fuck. We're going to move fast as fuck. And we're going to, we're going to move through as fast as we can to Anne Orlando. And we will do a little bit of hiding, um, after this vid gets up. Um, we're going to do a little bit of hiding and a little bit of procking the dried finger and, uh, getting some invaders to, uh, show up. Thankfully, we didn't get any of the same invaders from before, and, um, the one who did possibly have any idea where I could be is dead now. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of, kind of fucking crazy that this is fucking going on right now. He stopped right there. He stopped right there. That guy's on his vantage points. That guy's waiting there. He has left his vantage point. He's he's moving to the other side. Moving to the other side. Assuming that I've moved anywhere. Um... He is dropping. Damn, didn't take any fall damage from that. He's walking around, walking around, kind of trying to figure out what he's going to do next. He's moving down. He's moving down. He's going down the stairs. He is moving around. He looked around that corner. Excuse me. Very cheeky. Very cheeky. Very fucking cheeky. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, I assume he's moving back upstairs. Just, or just waiting in that stairwell over there. Or that little room over there. We're gonna keep an eye out. Keep an eye out, see what happens. Be careful not to move my left thumb stick, because if we do, we're fucked. We're just kind of looking around, waiting. I hope this is exciting for you guys, because this is pretty fucking hilarious to me. I love this shit. I am living for this shit right now. I don't have to move, I don't have to do anything other than provide color commentary and just wait and not panic until the last fucking second. <sighs> oh, man. I gotta make it easier for them at some point. Just to make sure that I get a vid out. Uh, I heard a slash. Hearing some slashes. Interesting. Interesting. Hearing some slashes. But, uh, no movement other than that. 
you stay quiet here for a little bit. Try to figure out uh, what the fuck they're doing. Oh, I got another message on my messenger. Oh my fuck, dude. Fucking Sean is gonna love this shit. Sean is gonna love this shit. Uh, oh, Sean messaged me. Again, that's cool. I hear some movement nearby. Ah, he's standing right over there. There he is. Glorious little fucker. GG to all of you. All of you for trying so goddamn hard. Now we got a second we got our second guy moving through. Where's the third guy? Where's the third guy? He's just kind of standing there. Slow walking. And now he's running. Now he's running. And they're moving back through again to go upstairs. Somebody's gone to Anne Orlando again to go search for me. But you're not going to find me. You can scour every corner of this map and you will not find me because I'm not out of bounds. I could be out of bounds. I know how to get out of bounds, believe it or not. But I'm not that evil. Yet. I am just that good at hiding. Um, I think they might have removed the out of bounds uh, glitch, actually, except for like that wall. Uh, that wall, somehow you can get into that wall. I saw one person do it. Uh, I think his name was Slim Shady, surprisingly enough. Um, and he fi figured out a way to get inside of that wall. I've only seen one person be able to do it, though. And he probably got banned for it. <coughs> probably got reported and got banned for it. Um, but fuck that guy. Um, and fuck that idea in general. I, I'm making it possible if they scour hard enough. All right, dude is coming down from Anne Orlando because he has searched yet again through Anne Orlando, trying to fucking find me somehow. We're we got three minutes left until this until these fuckers cannot find me, and then either I'm gonna get to Anne Orlando or they're going to disappear. How the fuck did I get souls there? How the fuck did I get souls there? That is, uh, that is quite bizarre. Uh, I got a tiny amount of souls. They're moving back up to Anne Orlando again. Did one of the deacons, like, die or something? Or did they kill a slime or something somehow? I didn't see any damage numbers. That was weird. That was peculiar. I've never seen that happen before. Not in all of my time of playing this game. All right, so they're they're up in Anne Orlando. They're trying their best to find me. Um, they're just not succeeding. I gotta make it easier for them somehow. Gotta make it easier for them somehow. I don't know how. We're gonna figure it out. Staying quiet here for a second. No, that's just the deacons walking back and forth. Never mind. I gotta make this easier for them somehow. I don't trust getting up and moving right now. Even though I could easily reposition. I could very easily reposition myself while they're up in Anne Orlando completely distracted. Um, but it's risky. And I don't want the possibility of the uh, Silver Knight seeing me and firing arrows at me because that's very telling. That would be a dead giveaway. So we're just going to sit here and um, wait it out 
and uh, we're almost at we're at 930 so uh, I'm gonna give it five more minutes and then I'm gonna cut the vid um, with me venturing into the pit and probably killing myself or something <coughs> But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this footage. It's been an absolute blast to make it. Um, very cozy. Very cozy video here. And Radicus, if you're watching, I hope you fucking enjoy this excerpt from the page of... Uh, uh, from a, a single excerpt from a single page of your book. I hope you enjoy this, my brother. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna move. We're gonna go down to the pit. We're gonna go down to the pit. All right, I thought that was one of them. All right, we gotta move. Yeah, buddy, dude, Night Pete has died. All right, let's go down here. We go down here. We're going to put on a ring of sacrifice instead of the obscuring ring. Right there. That way we don't lose our souls in case we die. Night Feed died somehow. I have no idea how he died. But he's obviously an idiot. And that's why he died. We're going to take on this fucker. Oh god, get the fuck out of the way of that. Oh god. That hurt. That hurt quite a lot. All right, we're gonna draunch here. We'll take massive damage. Oh god. All right. We're gonna take massive damage there, and we're gonna die. And ladies and gentlemen, that was the greatest fucking PvP video I've ever shot. And the fuckers did not find me. Or not the fuckers, the players. We're, we're gonna give props to them. GG to all of you. For sticking it out for so fucking long. You finally... Hopefully you got those souls from me. Hopefully it was worth it. I, I hope it was. Um, GG to those motherfuckers. They were, dedicate, they were dedicated as fuck. And it was quite impressive for a while how dedicated they were exactly <clears throat> I have no idea what ring I had on before oh yeah I had the obscuring ring on didn't I well we're gonna pop on this ring so that way we have uh, big defenses and um, actually we're gonna put on the Hornet ring again, and we're gonna try and get some parries next time. But yeah, that was it. That was an excerpt of a page from the book of Radicus. Um, and I hope that you have enjoyed this as much as I have because we fucking did it, baby. We fucking made it through almost 45 minutes. No, we did make it through 45 minutes. We made it for through 50 minutes of hiding successfully from our enemies. GG to all of you. You were exceptional, exceptionally good sports. And until next time, um, this has been Serba and Seraphix Juniper. And thank you so much for watching. It has been a pleasure and an honor to watch. I mean, to um, watch, wait, and um, and to do the damn thing. And to fucking trick our foes long enough to make an excellent vid and then kill ourselves gloriously. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. And thanks for watching. This has been Serapix Juniper and Serba of Carthus. Thank you.